You will recall that the book of Moses begins with Moses being taken up to an exceedingly high mountain. And the glory of God was upon Moses. What then followed was what happens to prophets who are taken to high mountains. He saw God face to face, and he talked with him. Son, wherefore, look, and I will show thee the workmanship of mine hands. And Moses beheld the earth, yea, even all of it. And there was not a particle of it which he did not behold, discerning it by the Spirit of God. also the inhabitants thereof, and there was not a soul which he beheld not. This experience is remarkable by every standard. It's one of the great revelations given in human history. But Moses' message to you today is, don't let your guard down. Don't assume that a great revelation, some marvelous illuminating moment, the opening of an inspired path, is the end of it. What happens to Moses next, after his revelatory moment, would be ridiculous if it were not so dangerous, and so absolutely true to form. In an effort to continue his opposition, in his unfailing effort, to get his licks in later, if not sooner, Lucifer appears to Moses after God has revealed himself to the prophet, saying, Moses, son of man, worship me. But Moses is not having it. He has just seen the real thing. And by comparison, this sort of performance is really pretty dismal. Who art thou? For behold, I am a son of God. Where is thy glory that I should worship thee? Blessed be the name of my God, for his spirit hath not altogether withdrawn from me, and I can judge between thee and God. Give thee hands, Satan. Deceive me not. The record then depicts a reaction that is both pathetic and frightening. And now, when Moses had said these words, Satan cried with a loud voice and ranted upon the earth and commanded, saying, I am the only begotten, worship me. And it came to pass that Moses began to fear exceedingly. And as he began to fear, he saw the bitterness of hell. Nevertheless, calling upon God, he received strength. Depart from me, Satan, for this one God only will I worship, which is the God of glory. And now Satan began to tremble, and the earth shook. In the name of the only begotten, depart hence, Satan. And it came to pass that Satan cried with a loud voice, with weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth, and he departed hence. Always to come again, we can be sure, but always to be defeated by the God of glory. Always.
I acknowledge the reality of opposition and adversity that so often come after enlightened decisions have been made, after moments of revelation and conviction. But I bear witness that God has set bounds and limits to the opposing powers of darkness. And when the second and the third and the fourth blows come, fear ye not, the Lord shall fight for you.